They tend to infuriate drivers with those unexpected tickets, but police say those red light cameras strategically placed at city intersections are working. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Waddell. And I'm Guy Ashley. You may love to hate red light cameras, but Tucson police say they really are cutting down dangerous wrecks. Not in your sides. Craig Smith is live at the Speedway and Cold Robo Cams with more on an important TPD report. Guy, you know, there is an excellent chance we will see someone get flashed while we, were while we are here, and they will run right into an expensive ticket. But TPD says that it has hard figures now that, that tend to prove that these robocans will make you less likely to run into somebody else. You may roll up to the robocams with a sense of foreboding. But some drivers are learning to love how they make drivers behave. I think more people are driving more cautiously because of that. I'm much more cautious at the intersections that I think there are cameras. Yeah. Does that behavior carry over to all intersections or just the photo cameras? Um, it's hard to say. I'm usually pretty cautious at intersections anyway, so. Figures from TPD back up what some drivers are feeling. The department looked at eight intersections where red light cameras are now. The year before there were any cameras, those intersections had 188 wrecks. As cameras went up, accidents at those intersections went down to 74. That's exactly what we intended it to do. Um, I know there's been heat about it. We've done it as a revenue generator. We've done it for other kinds of reasons. But the fact of the matter is, is we've, we've done it to, to try to reduce the number of, of fatals that we have. Uh, and certainly to have drivers carry that behavior onto their driving behavior no matter where they're at, regardless of whether there's a camera present or not. And the report says once you've been slapped with a red light ticket, you are not likely to get one again. Repeat offenders are only about 8%. Now, you can read this entire report yourself. It'll be available on kgon9.com in just a few minutes. Now, a lot of people are very suspicious about the money collected by these photo enforcement cameras. Uh, they believe that it's really just a money grab for the city. Well, the breakdown of that money is outlined in the report as well. The, the total fine, including various fees, usually comes to about $344. Of that, about $167 goes to the city, and the city has to turn around and pay the contractor who actually operates the photo enforcement system. The rest of that money goes to the state and to the county. And as we were saying, you can also get that breakdown by looking at this report on kgun9.com. Craig, are most of the traffic fines from cameras now? No, they are still mostly from officers who are out there writing tickets in person. They account for about 67% of the civil traffic violations. Okay, Craig, very interesting. Thank you.